Don't you worry, Mr. Wayne. I will not kill you right away. I have to learn so many secrets in your small little brain. <laughs> <laughs> In case you didn't know, Wing Wing is Agent Double O. It was faces and images that people had never seen. It was different. It was a little James Bond. Midget is not even a midget. He's not a dwarf. Very small, miniature guy who can act. As our dirty finger to Hollywood. We can do it. He's our guy. No budget, piano wire, real stunts, no CGI. The freak came out. I am the guy. <laughs> I wanted to know Wang Wang's story, his real name for starters. I'm trying to find out where he came from and what happened to him. I had a strong feeling the only way I would ever learn the truth about Wang Wang was to go to the Philippines with a big shovel and start digging through the rubble of 30 plus years of forgotten pop culture. <laughs> I was the one who edited all of Wayne's films. No. Yeah, James no. In the late 70s and the early 80s, there was a huge industry going on. Wild West would really be an understatement. It's not like Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's not like Clint Eastwood at the time. He's not Jackie Chan. He's. It's not a very comfortable image. This is exactly what Filipinos do. We transform our pain into ridicule and ultimately manageable in human terms. So I suppose we shrunk the goon. Wing Wing is extraordinary. When I directed him, the luck comes through, forced to me. The curiosity of, what's this Wing Wing? Is he a toy? There I realize he's human, he's a person. He's a very sad person. He tried to smile, but you can see it in his eyes that he's very lonely. What do you remember about Wang Wang? You're such a little guy, though. Very petite, like a potato. Yeah, let's go. 